2014. Uh, town and country, guys. From my understanding, this thing won't pull. Y'all see what I got with me? That's right. <laughs> my transmission dipstick and a rag, because if I can't move it, I might, I might have to just diagnose it right here. From my understanding, it won't even move. And y'all know what that means. Well, if you don't know what it means, uh, it's similar to uh, don't spend a lot of time trying to get it in because you will have to replace it. Oh, my God. Anyway. All right. So let's get this thing started. See what we got. All right. It starts. Let me see. That got reverse. Whoa. I mean, reverse. Oh, Lord. Here we go. I'm in reverse, guys. Let me go to drive. Okay, I got drive gears. So if nothing else, this vehicle in front of me, I could just simply move it out the way and get out. Whoa, I got drive in reverse. They got neutral. Whoa, neutral is now drive. Okay, guys. Let me put that in park and <laughs> apply the emergency brake because technically I don't know what gear I'm in now. Let's go outside and look at some things, guys. All right. Uh, wow, it's really whining, guys. I ain't seen one of these in a minute. That's because everybody else is doing them. Now, when we was able or when we was allowed to repair them, nobody got these but me. But now that they letting us, or they making us replace them, everybody all of a sudden now a transmission man. Go figure. <laughs> Nobody want to build them, but they should damn sure replace them. All right. So, and that's what I'm going to end up doing, okay? Like I told y'all, I haven't overhauled a transmission in a good two years, three years probably. I don't even know what my tool's at anymore. This thing is loud, guys. The problem is internal. Where is my... Okay. I'm going to remove this cap just to stick my dipstick down here and take a peek or take a look at the condition of the fluid. I pretty much already know what I'm going to see. Be careful, guys. I sparked one one time on this positive post. But let's take a dive inside the transmission dipstick. Hey, it's getting quiet. Whoa, y'all hear that? It just went away. That doesn't mean it's fixed. It just means, I guess the pump got tired of whining. Here it come back. Ladies and gentlemen, ta -da, that is brown. Woo! Guys, get a whiff of this. Can y'all smell that? That is bad, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I got it focused in on the dipstick. I'm smelling it. Y'all can't see me, but this transmission is internally burnt. Okay. What caused it? Who knows? I'm itching to lay down on the ground, see, take a look at the pan just to see if I can see if the pan has ever been off. If the pan has never been off, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that means the filter has never been changed. Technically, because you got to remove the pan in order to remove the filter. Now, I got an eye for can tell if a transmission pan has been resealed. I know the appearance of a factory seal transmission. All right, straight from the factory. I know how much silicone they use. I know how they, how they look. So that's how I'm able to tell if the transmission pan ever been removed. Because typically if you remove the pan, you gotta be crazy not to go in with a new filter. All right guys, so I can't get in the shop. I can't, that's nothing, I know you guys want more extensive diagnosis but here what we at guys this is what we do we not we we not <laughs> it's not that we're not required but we're not trained we're not our mind doesn't do doesn't think like that we're not into wasting a lot of time like why should i take this for example and the customer's not here typically if the customer was here in the lane waiting yes i would do that for their sake okay but the customer's not here the transmission is whining the dipstick fluid, the fluid is burnt. Doesn't matter what I write up, it's going to include a transmission union. 
unit. So at that point, why waste time trying to fight to get it in the shop? To do what more? What more do you need to do? Okay, you can scan it. I can scan it out here. If it's fault codes they want, I can find them the fault codes. Now I'm just telling you how this is not wrong. What I'm saying that the way we're trained, this is not wrong. This is just speedy, a speedy thing to do. Uh, to hurry up and get to the inevitable. All right, it's inevitable that the transmission has to be replaced. That's a known fact. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I say, right or do. My boss was only gonna let me write up a unit. Now, three three short years ago, I would love to hear that sound. Yes, yes, another one, another. One. Not, I'm not saying I'm glad y'all transmission breaking. I'm just saying I have an overhaul to do. I was overhauling these, and it was lucrative, guys. Twelve hours a pop. I can do a transmission overhaul complete. Clutch pack, every clutch pack in this transmission, three, four, five, five hours tops maybe. It take two to get it out. Get it on the bench, tear it apart, and that's if I stay on it. Okay, yes, that was. Now, I got to be careful because I don't know who, who am I speaking to right now, consumer or DIY mechanics. If you're DIY mechanics, you understand what I'm, I'm talking from a mechanical standpoint. All right, there's no sense in me wasting time trying to get this in the shop. If you're a consumer, a customer, yes, quite frankly, we should take it in the shop and go through the motions. But guys, we're on commission. The motion takes valuable time. Again, that's only going to lead to in the inevitable. You go, it's going to need a transmission. All right. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that topic, but it, it magically quieted down. But I, I have no reverse and I have no gears, so the problem is internal. I'm going to fire up my pod and get some fault codes out of here just to write down. I'm going through the motion. It's just that I'm going through the motions out here. I don't necessarily have to be inside the shop to diagnose the transmission. All right. Our overhaul days are over, guys. <laughs> uh, and what's weird, remember I talked about this on the last transmission video. The transmission is now covered three years, 100,000 miles, guys. Do y'all know how long that is? That is a long time. All right. That is a very long time to gamble and it's not a gamble, at least not if I do it. It's not a gamble to overhaul. It's just the parts to overhaul, it may exceed the value. We go by the 70% rule, guys, so it may exceed it. I already know I will need a pump, a torque converter, an overhaul kit. And that's usually why I stop. I try to keep the parts as minimum as possible. Because basically, that's all you need. Guys, what has happened is the front, oh my goodness, the front pump is starving. They likely haven't never changed their filter. The filter is dirty due to normal debris that comes from the torque converter. So the pump is starving and it's making that noise. So simply going in, removing the transmission, cleaning everything up, replacing the pump and the torque converter, you will basically fix that problem. But I go through the full motion of doing a complete overhaul, meaning I'm going to replace every clutch, clutch pack and every seal inside the clutch pack and make sure the valve body is not restricted that is an overhaul guys i'm spending too much time on this topic so ain't nothing else i can do fellas uh i wish i had more i can show you as far as diagnosing but uh, we're trained here you hear it whining it, you ain't nothing else you can do my boss would kill me if i write up overhaul in fact they wouldn't even try to sell it man you crazy you get it we, we're going to get an estimate on a unit so i stopped wasting my time doing it all right guys let me shut that up tired of hearing that song all right i'm done guys man thanks for watching i hope you got something i didn't get to do anything but at least you got the explanation on what i'm up against thanks for watching comment subscribe i'll see y'all in the next video